Hey, what's up guys? TJ here, out riding at Breckenridge today. And I'm gonna be talking about the Capita Kazu Kokubo Pro Model Snowboard. The first thing I noticed when I picked up the Kazu Kokobo Pro is that it's a really, really lightweight snowboard. So that just helps you to whip it around a little bit, make it a little bit more nimble and maneuverable. And it's also got one of the best looking base graphics out right now. And not only is the base really good looking, but it's also a super fast centered base. It's really, really fast out here today on this fresh snow. And it even comes with some structure in the base. So that just helps get that water from the front of the board to the back of the board that much faster helping you keep your speed and pick up speed. Top sheet also looks really good on this guy and it's actually an ash wood top sheet. So that's gonna act as another structural layer giving the board a little bit more rigidity, more stability, more pop. This board's also got a really cool shape and camber profile. So from the front insert pack all the way down out to the tail, it's full camber with just a little bit of rocker in the nose. And it also has a directional shape. So outside the contact points, which is the widest point on the snowboard, outside the contact points, which is the widest point on the nose and the tail, the nose is gonna be a little bit longer than the tail. So that's gonna help poke that nose up out of powder. It also has a slight taper. So just a little bit of a skinnier tail than nose, as well as a slightly setback stance. So all those things combined are gonna help give this board a little bit more powder performance while still being very freestyle friendly. The flex is definitely on the stiffer side of medium. I'd rate this guy right around a six out of 10. And it's got a very lively feel to it. I'm feeling everything underfoot, going through these trees, going through choppy terrain. It's not very damp, but the board holds energy very well. So it's actually a really poppy snowboard. And it's really fun for butters too. It's not too stiff that you can't get into a press. You can get a decent press on it, and then it offers loads of pop on the way out. Definitely above average pop on this guy. It's kind of firm and icy out here today underneath the fresh snow, but I went ahead and did some park laps anyway. And this guy is a lot of fun in the park. I'd say it's definitely a little bit more jump oriented than jib focused. Got loads of pop and stability for jumps, but it's still fun on the jibs too. It's sliding really, really smooth on the rails. And I think I was even able to get a decent press on it. To end the day, I decided to take a lap through the Narnia trees, actually where I'm at right now. And the Kazu did pretty good in the trees. It's not the most nimble snowboard. I'm on the 157 today, but it's still going really fast, feeling really smooth out here. Definitely a fun board to take in the trees if that's what you wanna do. I've been having a really fun time out here on the Kazu today. Regardless of where I've taken it, it's performed really well. It's gonna offer some float and powder. It's gonna provide tons of speed and stability for you. Whether you wanna take it in the park, hit some jumps, hit some rails, take it through the trees, or just carve up some groomers, the Kazu Kokobo is just an all mountain killer. So if that sounds like you, check out this snowboard. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.